Hello everyone and welcome back to Magic Friday and I... <laughs> I'm back from vacation and I'm still your host, uh, Jamie D. Grant. I've been away for a couple weeks in Hawaii, which was fantastic. Uh, doing some Send Wonder campaign stuff, bottles on the in the ocean, which is funny because I can't swim and the camera wasn't waterproof. <laughs> um, and I'm thinking of selling those prints, by the way, just as a little... This Magic Friday is brought to you by me, again, as always. Um, if you're interested in that prints on canvas, let me know. Okay. Uh, stay to the end. Our closing thoughts are going to be magic for one people. And, or one people. God, i got to get back into this. Magic for one person. And what to do when people ask you to repeat a trick. Okay. Uh, today's Magic Friday is a bit of a strange one because... It wasn't, uh, I've been doing this trick for quite a while and it, uh, on vacation actually I did it a few times. So um, my recap isn't gonna be about Friday specifically even though I did do it on Friday, but not as many times and I'll explain to you uh, why. So it's gonna be kind of a synopsis of how this trick has gone for last three months I guess or so, okay. So let's just get to it. Leonard Green and uh, Louis de Matos figurine. Typically, so on Friday, I carried, uh, of all things, a square sheet of toilet paper. <laughs> it's, not the, it's not the coolest thing to carry, but it's still just, it's what I carried. And I never said, hey, let me show you a trick with toilet paper. Uh, I'll just, let's just get into it. What the audience sees. So today's Magic Friday. I've been working. It's not. It's not really magic so much. I've been working on my origami, um, but it is magic because. Let me tell you. When I do a lot of gigs, and at gigs, someone, either a man or woman, will always say, "Can you make my wife disappear?" or "Can you make my husband disappear?" And it's kind of awkward. So I thought instead of you know making people disappear, I wondered if I could make someone up here. So that's what I've been working on. And uh, as you know, I'm also a master of origami, ukulele player, bike racer, paramedic, obviously. I do, I do many things, but origami is, is one of my other, other huge, huge passions. So if you can bear with me for today's, today's pardon the, uh, sorry about that. This isn't the most sanitary trick in the world, but it's really kind of in it's really kind of interesting here. Let's see if I can. There go. Okay, the appearance, not the disappearance, but the appearance of a man. I don't. Does this even look like a man? Does that look like a? Does that look like a little dude there? I don't know. Does that look like? All that focus. I don't know. Does that even look like a guy? I guess it does a little bit. You know, let me just fix this. Ah, I ripped his head. <laughs> the appearance of a the appearance of a dude, and that was it. <laughs> the, you know the the great thing about Magic Friday is I am very honest. I don't. Uh, what you see, what you see me perform here is pretty much how it goes on the day, and I am never one for. Um, I am not one for saying that you don't need to practice uh, ruthlessly because you do need to practice magic ruthlessly. But that, what you just saw, probably looked, you know, a little bit, you know, I don't know if it was fumbly or not how it looked, but but that's how I play it. And that's how it goes in real life. And it, it works. You know, I'm not doing, you know, amazing uh, false transfers or, you know, you know, figuring this effect is, That's it. And it plays so well um, because of what the what we're going to talk about in the closing thoughts. So how did it go? So on Magic Friday, I didn't do that effect if there was more than, I think if there was, if I had a group of more than three people, I didn't do it because I didn't want to be holding this figurine for 10 people. Like, look, everybody, you know, I wanted it to be a little flash and then whew, gone. So um, I didn't do it as many times, but I have been doing it over months. So I can tell you for a fact that 
it's such a, it's such a trip, like an actual little journey. And what you just saw was really fast, but you know, I would say, you know, what, what, what should we call them? Or does that look like a guy? And we, we talk about, you know, people, it was, it was, it just plays so well. Um, so then I rip his head off, I put him away. The, so the problem, there's a couple problems that aren't really problems, but they're just things you're gonna have to deal with, right? Everyone is, every single person, let me see that. So that's when I would say, hold on, let me finish him off. I'm not done yet. Show him again, you know, rip his head off. Ah, oh, sorry, put it away. Invariably, without fail, without fail, I'm talking every, every single time, I think, people are so amazed by that little figurine that they would immediately tell someone who is approaching, you've got to show, you've got to show them. That was, that was the thing. You've got to show them. So divert his head off, do it again, show him. Like they just, they just want to see it again. So we'll talk about that in closing thoughts. So how it went, I think it's, I think it's one of the greatest tricks. Is it a trick? I don't know. It's one of the greatest moments um, that I've had in a long time. People have, uh, people have talked about it for weeks after. How's, you know, and it's not, it's not, they're not saying to me, remember when the oranges appeared from the, it's, how's your origami coming? <laughs> Which is really funny. Um, you know, how's that, that, you know, like it, it resonated with them somehow. Is it a talent in their minds? Is it, a, you know, is it an effect? Is it a talent? It's, it's an interesting discussion. You know, is it a trick? Not really, but it's uh, but it it is a moment. Okay, so how it went? Yeah, I'm I'm keeping and like other magic effects I do, I'm keeping it because it just costs nothing. It's just a little thing, goes in my pocket. Like it costs it costs me nothing. I'm talking money, but it doesn't cost me pocket space to keep this little dude. Um, the angry Bob was kind of. Angry Bob is was kind of well now what? He was a little bit he wasn't I didn't ask Angry Bob because we were in a group. Hey, do you think I made that? Like I didn't so I didn't I don't really know what he thought. Um he, I think he was expecting something else. So it kind of ends short, right? Put it away, that's it. So I can't really give you an Angry Bob rating. I, the question for the Angry, so the Angry Bob rating is, you know, is it a magician fool or really that's what the Angry Bob rating is. is, is the question is, is do people believe that you have turned this into a figure, a figurine? That's the question. Is that believable? And that's what magic is. Have you made that believable? You know, have you made someone believe that the card has risen to the top? That's, that is on you. So. Do people believe that? I personally do. My wife doesn't like it when I put it in my mouth, but I personally think that people need to think there's some sort of moisture to make it into the figurine. So I guess that's my JDG tip is if you have a glass of water, dip it in water or as unsanitary it is. I personally don't believe, I don't believe that I could make this into an origami figure so perfect. But with water, paper mache, for some reason my mind connects it as, yeah, that's believable. So do I believe that it can turn, you know, this into, into a guy? I do. But I, the JDG tip is add water, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, what the audience saw, how it went. JDG tip, Angry Bob, difficulty, not difficulty at all. <laughs> you know. <laughs> because you're you're keep you're not you're keeping everything in your hands and you're just putting it all away really um, the difficulty is is it believable do people believe that you can you can create that and I I think they do I honestly think they do with YouTube and everything and people are you know have amazing skills it's just a cool little moment I love it okay closing thoughts so let's talk about it what do you do when they say, show, you got to show this, you got to show them, you know, because they just want to see it again. So I have the same line I've used for 10 years, same line. Jimmy, show my buddy. 
no. No, which laughs. So then I got to take it away, right? Take away the, the sting of no. And I said, that was a special moment for you. That was magic and time for you only. Um, and I play that straight. I, I really play that straight. That was a gift. That, you know, not I'm not a you know gift, but that, that moment that you're remembering right now, that's a gift for you only. I'll show him something else. You know, whatever. Um, and it's okay. For, and I am, you know, I hate to be uh, Magic 101 here, but I never repeat effects. Ever. Never. I don't think. I'll have to, I'll actually have to, am I lying? I don't think so. I'll have to stop and think about that. But no, when someone says show them, never. I never do the exact same thing. Um, I've got some essays on how many tricks you should know, and I, I talk about how you need to know nine tricks, three sets of three, and that's so that I can do another group right here without repeating my first three. Like, I don't even want people seeing my first three effects, even within, you know, eyesight or your earshot. So, if someone says repeat it, it is totally valid to say forget it. No! And, you know, people are like, oh, I don't, and they feel uncomfortable, and they're being, no, you gotta be firm. Stand strong. Absolutely not. That was a gift for you. Okay. That's it. This is actually a short one today. I've got a million emails to respond to. <laughs> um, vacation was great, everyone. Thank you for, uh, for being patient. Thanks for waiting a couple weeks. Uh, what else can I tell you? Still writing the book. Uh, it's coming along well. Got some delays. No, uh, no mystery there. And uh, I think that's it. Figurine. Explore this, explore this effect. Um, yeah, let me know. Put in some comments. Do you have it? What, what do you think about it? Um, do you perform it? What have people come back to you and said about it? Um, I don't know. I love, the, I love just the appearance of just kind of a mystery man just for one second. So yeah, let me know what you think. Happy Magic Friday. I'll see you next week.